an empty drag track on a crisp winter's day. Perfect conditions for a group of fanatical bikers to go for a burnout. These guys aren't your average bikers, and these aren't your average bikes. Back in the 60s, those sneaky guys at Honda thought they'd try and solve Japan's congestion problems by designing a munchkin motorbike. The result was the small but perfectly formed monkey bike. Forty years later and the monkey has a fanatical following, especially in Britain. Why? Well, the monkey is the perfect motorbike for modding. This is a Honda Gorilla, year 2000. We've got aluminium 10-inch wheels, upside down forks. We've got extended swinging arm, 26mm carb. We've got high-speed manual gearbox. Standard monkey runs a free speed semi automatic. Uh, yeah, all right, Tom, we get the we point. Get the modding, speed. great. You can pick up a bog standard 30 mile an hour monkey for under two grand, but who wants bog standard? Some of these maxed out monkeys will easily crack 80. All this monkey modding leaves me with just three questions. Why would you, why would you, why would you? I've always had a passion for small cars and very small motorcycles and a Honda ST70 was for sale at the local motorbike shop. So I immediately bought that and the passion grew and grew and uh, I saw another one and another one and the collection now stands at 72. Get the cool. People enjoy tuning them and uh, making them go faster and buying the special parts. And there's a big industry in the special parts and the, the aftermarket parts. It's got a four disc clutch, upgraded oil pump, full titanium exhaust. A stock engine uh, pushes out three brake horsepower. This one enjoys. All right, give it a rest. 18, 19 brake horsepower. There's always like a Mickey take. I think purely because they're just tiny little bikes and there's fully grown adults riding these things. I'm six foot one, so I suppose I do look a bit silly on it, don't I? <laughs> You've got to be used to people taking the mickey out of you and laughing at you. I don't care what I look like as long as I'm enjoying myself. What's big in Japan it usually makes it even bigger over here. If that's true, these things are going to be huge. Well, not huge, obviously, they're tiny, but you know what I mean. I always say today, it's probably as big as Mini is here. And I think because they're small, people can take them in the lift, take them up to their apartments and work on them, take them out at the weekend, have a bit of fun. People just turn around and expect to see a big bike coming down the road, and they just see this little thing knee-height or grasshopper. It's excellent, it's great. People love it, it's brilliant. So if you've got a spare few grand to spend, you live in a shoebox or you're simply a bit nuts, why not buy into a bit of monkey magic? We've got aluminium 10-inch wheels, down forks, extended swinging arm, 26mm high-speed manual gearbox.